gonna have two black rings with a silver outside. It's gonna be your oil rings. With this. You got one opening there and one over there. Never line them up together. The gap for the oil rings there and over here. So we want to move this ring with the gap over yonder. This one will twist like that. Oh, we don't want never want this one and that one to line up. Those line up, you ain't got no compression. Finesse her up in there. You want to be very careful with this one because if it goes shooting in your engine, you're basically fucked. So you want to make sure when you get it started, it does not fly back. You want it to snap in just like that. Now make sure your little rubber gasket's down here still before you press it tight. Or you will have a leak. Again guys remember in is up. In means intake, in is up. Uh 
All right, guys, before we get to the timing, we wanted to get this brand new starter installed. And Rob's putting a brand new stator in now. Just clean that cover up. We'll be right back with the timing. Poke it in your hole, and then you'll give it a twist. Twist all the way up. Out there. Now we check timing. Right there. Right on top. So now, we take this. your timing chain you're gonna have a dot here you have a groove in your casing right here that dot needs to be lined up with here when this is that top dead center take a look in there to the top dead center take a look at this mark back on the sprocket and it's not lined up with that so that's obviously not right Key. This dot does not line up with the casing. Alright guys, getting at the top dead center up here, I don't know if you guys can see that T lining up with this right here on the casing, that means we're in time, 0 0.05, stick this in there again, can't get it in there, loosen it back up a little bit, boom. All right, we're in there. Watch this. 